Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to take a large audio file and make it a lot smaller. Why would you want to do that? Well, it saves space, it makes it easier to upload, it makes it easier to share. Uh, it just makes sense to have nice small files on your computer. So the reason I needed to do it was because I've got a fairly high level microphone that takes, uh, so here's the file we're looking at. It takes uh, WAV recordings, and they're quite large when I pull them into iTunes. So let's do a control click on this, and we'll go to Get Info. You can also right click to get the info. And I'll just drag this window over here so you can see it. And here's the size. This is a 210.5 megabytes uh, file. It's a WAV audio file. It's way bigger than it needs to be, so I'm going to compress it. Luckily, iTunes just kind of does this for me with a little bit of uh, configuration beforehand. So let's go up to iTunes Preferences by clicking on the iTunes uh, tab here and then Preferences. That opens up the General Preferences window. We're going to go all the way down, we're just going to skip all this, we're going to go all the way down to Import Settings. This button here, we're going to click that and it's going to pull up another window and mine by default was on AAC encoder. I think this produced uh, like MP4 files and it gives you some details down here which is really nice. So for for what it's defaulted at, it's 128 kilobytes uh, per second mono. Anyway, this is what I usually look at is the 128 and that's more than I need. So let's get it down to a more standard sort of, for my purposes, podcasting level and uh, we've got now 80 kilobytes per second. We can even change this to like a little lower. Uh, well, actually, wait a minute. It's not letting me do that here, but let's see what the custom lets me do here. Yeah, so under custom, you can make it as low as you like. Uh, for podcasting, you probably could go all the way down to like 32 or, or whatever you like there. But I'm finding that for my purposes, uh, keeping it at 80 is is a pretty good file size and I also have excellent sound at that level so I I like the mp3 file it's been easy to work with easy to uh, use in iTunes iTunes loves it so I'll hit OK on that and I'll hit OK again so now we're back to the normal iTunes window and all I have to do again is either right click or control click that file and then it gives you the option to create an mp3 version and up here you'll see that it's crunching away at doing that we're talking on my computer looks like under 10 seconds and then poof here it is and let's do a control get info on that one versus the other one let's see if it'll let me open both of these at the same time it won't anyway you remember that on the first one the get info you can look 210.5 megs the new one is 23.9 megs way smaller it's an mp3 it's still just as good audio quality in my to my untrained ears so that's f perfectly good for publishing as a podcast and whatever else you need to do with it that'll save you a ton of space and make things a lot faster for you if this video helped you uh, please hit the like button and subscribe and uh, have a good one thanks